Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, as you can see, I am back from Italy and um, I'm a little bit tanned, I hope ish. Uh, <laughs> um, it was really, really wonderful, but now, of course, I need to isolate, but that is fine. Um, I am just really happy to get back in the swing of it and show you some new bits and pieces that I have been ordering online. So if this is your first video watching me, hello, I am Valerie. Um, I am a normal girl, as you can see. I am not particularly good at putting on makeup or doing my hair. <laughs> um, but you know, I do love a little bit of fashion and um, I guess it's just something that is keeping me sane in uh, this strange period um, of Corona. Anyway, if you like a bit of fashion yourself, keep on watching because there is loads coming your way. So this is another Zara haul, but before we jump into things, um, I will just show you quickly my outfit. It's just a regular um, Zara jeans, quite old. Um, and this is a top I got on uh, the Outnet. And I am a huge fan of the Outnet. If you don't know it yet, I'll leave a link down below so that you can check it out. Basically, I think it's the outlet uh, side of net a -Porte. So anything they don't sell um, on their own sales on net a -Porte, they put on the outlet afterwards. And you can score some amazing deals out there. And I tried to look at the brands in this top, but <laughs> I couldn't read it. Like, literally, I couldn't read it. From a marketing perspective, probably not a good idea from that brand. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's some sort of obscure brand I never heard of in any case from the Outnet. And, um, you know, if you're interested in scoring deals, the Outnet is really uh, something you should check out. But that being said, I mean, it is just a blue and white striped top. So I bet you could find some similar items um, just like this on Zara. And my jewelry is from, I don't know if you can tell, but these are um, Alighieri earrings and the necklace is also um, from Alighieri. And I do really love that brand because I think they are doing something quite unique, but I do appreciate it. It's with a bit of a price tag attached, um, but I do think they're worth it because they keep um, their color really well and um, yeah, I've had these for quite a while and they still look gorgeous. So without further ado, let's dive into the fashion. So the first thing I wanted to show you is this knitted dress in sort of a cream color. And it was $25.99 and I got it in a size small. And the reason for that is because they didn't offer this one in an extra small. So <laughs> otherwise I'd probably have gone for an extra small. Um, I really like knitted dresses, especially in sort of the transitional period between summer and fall. I think they are perfect because they are, of course, a bit heavier in sort of the material that they're made of. So they will keep you warmer, even though obviously it's without sleeves. So I really do like it. It's a gorgeous color. But the only thing I will say is because it is a small, not an extra small, um, it does gape a little bit in the back um, and that is something that I notice um, it's sort of a pet peeve for me I suppose um, I prefer when things at least dresses fit really nicely in the back um, so that's usually what I'm after so this one doesn't have it but I like it so much that I <laughs> don't remind too much so yeah really love this dress and in the cutout clip, I combined this dress with my trusted Gucci loafers. And I know, of course, they're a bit older now, um, but I still really love them. I think they really upgrade any outfit almost. And they give it sort of a fashion-y upgrade. So I do love them for that. And then the second thing I combined this dress with, hold on a second, is this little baby now this is a new addition to my wardrobe um, it's some of you might know this of course it is the um, 
Chloe Nile bag, I suppose. Am I saying this right? Yeah, I think it's a Chloe Nile bag. I've had my eye on this for quite a while. It does come with a longer strap so that you can wear it um, crossbody. But I do love this. I, it's just, it's almost like a bracelet uh, thing. And I think it works really well during the day just as well as during, for an evening out or something like that. Um, so yeah, I had my eye on that. And while I was in Italy, I went to an outlet shop. And I saw this one there, but not in the same color, and I wanted black. Afterwards, I kept an eye on the net porte site, and I saw they put this one in sale. And it was the same price as in the outlet. So I was really chuffed with this, and you will see me combine this bag with quite a few outfits in this video, because it's just, it's so versatile, it goes almost with anything. So yeah, so, so chuffed with this one. Okay guys, on to the next item. So I got a white dress and this dress was $29.99 and I got it in a small. Again, because they did not have this in an extra small. I mean, they, they don't produce it in an extra small. It's not that they didn't have it. So they just make it in a small, medium and large. So I really like this dress. <laughs> Um, this dress really reminds me of the dresses made by, um, and I'm probably going to butcher this name as well, um, Cecily Bounce, I think. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Anyway, she makes the dreamiest like dresses. And these dresses that she makes, they're, they're all, they, they look like a little cloud, you know, because they're so billowy and there's lots of volume um, and usually it's with an open back. So I love these dresses, but of course the price tag of these dresses I think is at least £600 plus. So I, I love these dresses, but I don't know if it's worth the investment. So I was really chuffed to see that Zara brought out a dupe. And what kind of a dupe? Amazing. So it has, first of all, the open bag, just like Cecily Bunsen dresses have. Um, it has a puffy sleeves and then you will see that um, it's embroidered throughout. Um, and then the skirt has an under layer made out of tulle, which is great because it does give a little bit extra of volume. Um, down at the bottom so really really like this dress and again I uh, combined them with my Gucci loafers and my new Chloe bag because it's just the perfect outfit in my opinion okay guys let's move on to the next item so I got a cardigan a very long cardigan um, in a size small and uh, that one was 29.99 um, and I love the idea of wearing a long cardigan um, as a dress which is really my idea um, for this cardigan and I have to say I really like this cardigan as a dress I think it works really well um, I do have to say that the V in the front is quite low, so you might want to solve that with having like a little pin here or wearing something underneath as I did. Um, I have a couple of those um, lacy bralettes that I use for um, occasions like this. So if I have something where the, the V is too deep, I put on a, a lacy bralette and I think it gives a very nice look. Uh, but other than that, um, also the color, I don't know if this is picking up. I would qualify this perhaps as a very light, sagey green. And I had something specific um, that I ordered from the Zara website to combine this with. And that is this belt. So it's a white belt with a gigantic buckle. It is a leather belt. Um... And I got it in a smaller size available. Um, but yeah, I, I think this white works particularly well with the sagey green that you can see here of the cardigan. So yeah, really, really love that look. 
The only thing I will say is that if you have, if you're sort of petite and you have a small waist as well, um, yeah, you might need to <laughs> put in, poke in some, some additional holes in this belt. Um, and it's going to be a little bit difficult because these holes in the belt, as you can see, they're sort of um, rectangular, I suppose, quite, quite long. Um, so I have one of those hole makers that I use to uh, put extra holes in my uh, belts. So I think I'll just have to make three holes next to each other and then open the hole to make sure that it's big enough. Because the buckle, of course, has a very wide uh, thing here, as you can see. So uh, yeah, that's going to be an experience, I think. Uh, <laughs> but still, other than that, I just do really love this cardigan and belt combo okay guys let's move on to the next item so i got these trousers whoops <laughs> and i got them in an extra small and these ones were 29.99 and i think these trousers will look amazing uh, during the fall and um, they kind of remind me uh, of the suits that uh, frankie shop makes uh, but of course again at a fraction of the price and what I love about them is that they're super wide in the legs and that they have these little pleats in the front which gives them sort of a um, I don't know 80s 90s business look um, so yeah really a big fan of these um, and I got these pants in combination with this top because I just felt that um, a simple tight black top would fit really nicely on them um, this one is again a, a size small because they don't have this in an extra small and it was $9.99 let me just take that back for a second so it has a square neck as you can see long sleeves and it's a bit cropped so I do feel with these trousers, which are so wide, that it's mostly better to combine it with a tight top um, because you already have like the wide effect in the bottom. So it's nice to balance uh, that out a little bit. Okay, guys, uh, on to the next item. So I've got a very nice coat here from Zara and I have to say it was a bit steep the price of this this one was 129 pounds and again as you know I got it in an extra small now first of all let's talk about <laughs> whether or not this coat is worthy of 129 pounds and I sort of feel like it isn't um, I do like it I think it's very beautiful but this is a coat that's not lined as you can see here's a pocket so it is definitely not lined and the fabric is kind of i don't know if you will be able to see but the fabric is kind of flimsy so this is not a coat that is going to keep you warm all winter or at least um if you're living in the uk as i am so just for that reason alone i think 100 29 pounds is probably too steep you know if they would sell this coat for 80 pounds that would be a different story but okay enough about the price tag i i think most of you will agree that it's a bit steep for zara codes let's be honest um but apart from that i mean the color is gorgeous and um i think this would look very nice on jeans and i sort of imagine this with a light outfit underneath and um, of course more for the transitional period into fall rather than into winter because again not hot enough and also what I really like about this coat um, is the sleeves I think they did a really great job with the sleeves it looks a little bit pleated almost here it's um, yeah, it's difficult to describe I hope you managed to see it all right here um but yeah really great coat and i think we're gonna see this coat quite a few times on instagram in the coming months um but yeah i think i'm gonna return it um even though i really really like it i think this is the sort of thing from zara that um i would try out at home 
see if I like it. And if I do, I would wait until the sale. And if I still like it by then, I would pick it up in a sale probably at, I don't know, 30% of the price. You know, this I could see this coat really going down to 40 at the end of the sale. So um, yeah, if uh, you really like it and you think it's worth the price, go for it. It's beautiful. Um, I, for one, I think I'm going to return it and uh, wait for the sale and see if I still love it. Okay, let's move on to the next item. So I got this satiny grey dress and I got it in extra small and it was $29.99 and um, I really do like this dress because I think it's quite versatile. On the one hand you can just wear this as a pretty summer dress and I, I do like and appreciate that they've done a little effort to um, make it really form-fitting if that makes any sense I think you will see what I mean um, in the color clip so it it fits the body quite well there's no gaping um, at the back which is one of my pet peeves I really dislike that but this one doesn't have that uh, at all it's very form-fitting but then um, the second thing I wanted to do with this is to combine it with a chunky sweater which I think will be great for the fall and you will see in the cutout clip that I combined this dress with a white and blue sweater from Gunny um, really like that sweater and I think it looks super super cool combined with this dress um, but saying that I have to admit that I already have quite a few uh, grey satiny skirts in my closet so I might just have to send this back because I sort of already have in my closet what it takes to make that look so yeah I need to do a little bit of thinking but otherwise very nice dress and um, very easy to combine it um, going forward in the fall in my opinion okay guys so we're already at the final item of this little haul um, so the final item are these slippers I guess I would say um, from Zara uh, and these were $29.99 and uh, the reason why I got these was because I feel like they're a little bit of a look-alike for the slippers that are out now from uh, the row but these slippers from the row I think they're priced I don't know above 500 pounds which I think is ridiculous for slippers um, so I would never pay a price like that uh, but these ones are good look-alike. They're not in the same color. I think the row is only in white and black. But the band um, sort of gives the same look and feel as um, the, the row slippers. Because it's really wide. Um, and it's sort of a thick sole. Which I also think is uh, one of the features of the row slippers. Oh, and what I also really like about these slippers is that they have like this sort of Japanese looking um, thing here where you split the toes um, yeah it just reminds me of my trip to Japan which oh, I loved so so much Japan is probably the coolest uh, country in the world or something like that um, they they just have a coolness Japanese people that I love so this is it for my Zara haul. I hope you enjoyed it and that you found something that inspired you. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet and you like this content and you want to see more videos, consider subscribing. It's very easy. Just click the button down there um, and you'll be subscribed and notified every time that I bring out a new video. And also it would be great if you want to be part of my little community here on YouTube. Oh, finally, um, there's a little notification. Uh, I just wanted to tell you guys that I will do a denim focused haul next. So I went on the Zara website and I found some amazing jeans and if you've watched my previous videos you know that I love a good Zara jeans. So um, yeah I decided to go on the website have a little look um, at the denim that they're bringing out right now and just do a little comparison of um, the different types of jeans that they have and my thoughts on them. So that's the video that's coming out next. So again if you don't want to miss it 
click the notification bell and with that i will just stop blabbering and i hope you're having a great day wherever you are whatever you're doing and uh, i hope to see you again soon bye